so i will create a new widget library say my banner okay so as i said these are the small sort of uh, custom codes okay so which you can create some uh, uh, reusable uh, objects in the dashboard say you want to create a menu which will be repeated everywhere you want to create a button on on click of the button your dashboard color will be changed okay you want to create a print button on click of the print button your dashboard will be printed okay that sort of uh, widgets you can create basically creating the tools so now these are the html code base you have to write the code uh, coding editor you have to write html and this is the css which you can use for this html code okay so now i'll create a very simple as you all are fresh here so i'll create a very simple widgets uh, i will create a banner I will I will create a banner which will show the title of the dashboard and it should have a different property just like we have a code any objects it has different property right uh, you can go to this uh, once you going through this you have a different property like measure uh, dimension sorting appearance in the appearance there are also many properties so those type of property you have to create by your own it has a general property you have to create a general property stroke type okay you have to create a stroke type property so or, or some type of property which is relevant to your code okay those type of property you can create and on selection of those property user can change those uh, uh, you know if a user can change uh, the property and effect will be applied on your widget dynamically in the front end okay so say i will simply create a uh, widget i have created a widget um, whose name is my banner okay now okay so this is the dashboard name print text solution or this is a company name okay now just save it it's a very simple widget now now um, widget library we have created widget library we have created and send inside that we have to create the widget name and type so once you create the library you will see over here you will have another library called my banner okay just like this my widgets test widget wt banner so we will have a widget called my banner and and inside that what about the widgets are available these are all the widgets okay and this is a banner is just a kind of free uh you know a rack of where you are storing multiple items so nahi right. i'll name it as my custom banner custom banner inside my banner the widget name is custom banner the widget type we have to select chart navigation a table anything you want I, i i can choose other it is not a chart type of widget it is not a table however you can also create different type of that things so other okay choose and save it so the widget is very simple widget is created widget name is custom banner now you can see this type of frame would have been created in the questions desktop once i'll refresh it you will see the widget to be available custom objects where is my banner this is my banner and my widget name is what custom banner right so inside the custom objects i have created our custom objects So now I'll delete. I will go to. I, I'll just drag it this like this. My banner, which will be placed over here. 
okay now you see what was written in the this thing in the text printstack solution it is generated here okay i don't have an option to change it i have a simply general property i don't want the title so title should be off okay it's a simply the banner now now i want some dynamic property of this widget should have like there is a general property which is a default i want some more property like background property like font size property like color property okay those type of property i want i, I want this particular uh, font size will be changed based on the selection of the property you do, user don't have to change anything okay user simply change the uh, size as h1 h2 h3 and so on the size will be changed and color red green blue yellow etc it will be changed so for creating the size hmm. i'll first take h1 Hmm. Image HTML for H1. H1. Now save and you see in H1 tag, I'll make it style equal to. font size twenty px color red that's it and save now just refresh. Uh, it is uh, removed because I did not save that custom objects. Now you see the we save now. So font size is 20 and it is changing. Now I'll have two three more properties like text uh, align. Um, left, right, uh, this thing and font size and font color. Okay, so that would be coming here. So here in the widget part, um, I have to create the uh, property. Okay, so for property, select the app in which app you are going to make it effective. Okay, so the app name is Sales and Distribution Dashboard. So, app I choose. So, in this particular app only, this should be. I made the changes in the widget, so it is asking for to refresh me and save it. Okay. I'll do any changes now in the web widget. It will ask me to refresh because it is now sync with the web to desktop. So, what I'll do, I have a any property, I can add multiple properties over here. I have a general property. I will add a header. Okay. The header property in the header property, I'll change the header property name is appearance. Let's go to uh, this property and change the setting name as appearance. Now, you will get in the widget on refreshing you will get another property called appearance property however you do not have any uh, item to select but you get the property see you get this appearance property right i don't have any property inside this uh, appearance but it is there so i have to add the 
these are all the property folders okay or directories and in center i have to add the real properties so in this appearance property what i should add i should add a drop down list or radio button okay so i will add uh, three drop down list first drop down list i'll take as this folder this property name is uh, fund size okay size okay only size hmm. in the size i should have first second third a uh, small medium large okay extra large this is value and this label in the label i should have small medium large large extra large okay so i don't have any value like this extra large large etc so what i'll do for small i'll make it 15 px that's it for medium i'll make it 20 px for large i'll make it 25 px for extra large i'll make 30 px so according to the selection of the drop down list this property will be changed and by default selection the default value will be medium okay so it will not ask you to choose anything initially default value will be medium property type is property 1 so i'll just make the property type over here as size okay font size i'll give label is this property type should not be i think it, should, it is just like html property now i just give it as font size okay done now i got this much of property see small large medium and this thing now accordingly i will add font color also drop down again a drop down not change color add red red green green because uh pink pink blue blue okay default property should be red this color that hello mit yes a small lot can we create a for submission form in this uh, html right with a submission form submission yeah. means yeah we can get a input fields and one submit button is there right input field yeah, text area we can explore yeah we, it must be we have a ready button we don't have any button over here um, all this property of the normal uh, collections desktop has those type of property it has so need to check but yes there should be some way out you know just treat this as your assignment and you do it it would be interesting in case of anything we will discuss and trace out okay yeah, yeah. where mash up only we can create it right yeah yeah okay so here yeah, about radio radio okay and then i want uh, huh, uh, one more thing uh ready button okay uh ready button like alignment 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 should be left center center properties alignment and default value is left okay done so these are the three properties i get just done make it done over here you can get those five now 
uh, the property will be there but on selection it will not be changed right now i've selected i get this appearance property uh, from medium to large i'm not getting any impact on this because though i have declared the input this is a kind of a parameter but this parameter has not been set to the property of this uh, widgets right so it is not affecting so i have to go to the hub again over here i have to write so red which is the font size which you have given as 20 which is hard coded what i'll do I'll, I'll just remove it go to insert i have these things like the snippet icons and um, this property reference so how many properties we created i have to add them first i says font size okay insert property so i have added the font size which is becoming dynamic like if i choose this the font size from here it will be changing accordingly it will not be hard coded like the color is red now i'll remove i have to go to insert snippet and color property okay insert with color bracket likewise the text alignment over here uh, align text text align okay. it should be insert this thing and alignment okay so i have added all this as the dynamic property now got it any doubt over here instead of 20 px in this HTML property i make it dynamic and this will be called from the property snippet which we have created for this property like this color snippet and alignment snippet i have added save it yes Sir, about those button, which which that how to effect it in the yes so this is those... going to be effect i i will change this property like lay just assume it is medium i will just change it to large so internally the last property will be added over here so large value large value was how how much it was 30 right yeah for this thing font size so font size the property what is the large value 25 external large is 30 so these values will be internally applied over here okay Got it. I'll choose large so these values will be internally applied over here font size okay. is medium it would be applied as 20 over here we choose okay. extra large it will apply as 30 px over here dynamically okay so save now it is done you have to come over here save and refresh control okay so it is being it is going to be affected now okay so it is working it is now blue let's go to the property change the appearance what is the appearance it is right now right so i'll change it left it is left change it center it is center interesting right and instead of blue you make it green it is green pink red instead of large you make it expel large make it center okay. it is working so i'm not changing anything in the banner part so completely the dynamic HTML snippet is going to be is getting created by using this uh, so, so this is 